Remember that direct objects and indirect objects complete the meaning of transitive action verbs. Subject complements, our topic for today, complete the meaning of the subject and always follow linking verbs. So they're pretty easy to spot. Our sentence order will look like this. Subject, linking verb, and then the complement. Now the complements can take two forms. Your complement will either be called a predicate nominative, which is a fancy way of saying noun, or a predicate adjective. The names of these complements are pretty descriptive. A predicate nominative is a noun in the predicate that identifies or renames the subject. Before we look at an example, let's recall that list of the most common linking verbs. Is, are, was, were, seem, feel, appear, become, smell, taste. These four up here are the most common ones in the language. Now let's look at an example. Louis was president of the student body. Let's start by finding that linking verb. It's one of the really easy ones, was. The subject, of course, is Louis. Remember that linking verbs have no meaning by themselves. They are called linking verbs because they join the subject to something in the predicate. Here, Louis is linked to the word president. And because president is a noun, we know we have ourselves a predicate nominative. When we're talking about predicate nominatives, I want you to think of the linking verb as an equal sign. So what we have here is Louis equals president. If we were to swip, swap that around, we'd have president equals Louis. That's a pretty good indication that this is a linking verb and that this is a predicate nominative. Now let's talk about predicate adjectives. Predicate adjectives are simply adjectives that follow linking verbs and describe the subject. Let's look at an example. Ramona became angry when the bus was late. The subject is Ramona, and the linking verb is became. We have to look further in the predicate to figure out what it is that Ramona became. There it is, angry. Angry is clearly an adjective that describes Ramona. Which Ramona? The angry Ramona. But because it's located in the predicate, we call it a predicate adjective. Remember that an adjective almost always appears before the word it modifies. The only exception to that rule is in the case of the predicate adjective, like we have here. Now let's mix them up and see if we can figure them out. The students looked miserable when the teacher announced the test. Students is our subject, looked is our linking verb, and miserable describes the students. Therefore, we have a predicate adjective. Robert and Clay seemed happy about the results of the race. Robert, Clay is the compound subject. They are joined by that coordinating conjunction and. Seemed is the linking verb, and happy is an adjective. We have another predicate adjective. Aaron Rodgers may be the best quarterback in Packers history. Aaron Rodgers is clearly the subject of this sentence. May be is the linking verb phrase. Don't forget the helping verbs. And quarterback is a noun that renames Aaron Rodgers. Remember our little trick? Aaron Rodgers equals quarterback. If that makes sense, we have a predicate nominative or a predicate noun. 